Hey everybody and welcome back. Um, I just wanted to do a continuation video on the last video we did about loading um, data points from Node-RED into InfluxDB for use in a, uh, a dashboard, kind of like what you see here. Um, I know it's been a little while since uh, I did a video. Um, we recently had another daughter and that's been taking up a lot of my time, but uh, I think I have enough time here to maybe squeeze one more out and uh, possibly one more after this. But anyway, uh, let's get started. So. Right now, uh, I'm in Grafana, and Grafana is a piece of software that is designed for reading data points from various data sources and displaying them in a you know a graphy dashboardy type of way. Uh, it's got a lot of built-in chart types and a lot of display options um, that you can use to display your data. Um, comes with features like uh, time window selection and, more importantly, automatic refreshes. So it'll, you can set it to refresh every five seconds or every one day, depending on how often you want that data to be loaded from the database. So it's, it's really good for kind of like a status dashboard or um, uh, like an output of, of your different various sensor data or sensor metrics or whatnot. So very, depending on what distribution you use, um, it's going to be installing this is going to be uh, different between Ubuntu and Arch and, and maybe Docker. So I'm not going to go through the installation part like I usually do. Uh, you guys have seen me install enough software. In Arch, it's the exact same. You get it from the AUR, you get it from the uh, the official repos, and uh, you kind of install and run. Um, in other distributions or in Windows, it's going to be it's going to be slightly different. So uh, check that out on the uh, Grafana um, homepage uh, for the installation options. But basically, once you have it installed, you're going to be presented with um, kind of a blank slate. Like, this is a, a dashboard that I've already created. You won't have this, obviously. But uh, we're going to start by walking through uh, a, creating a brand new dashboard here. And so just by clicking that plus sign and clicking dashboard, this dashboard is already created. What this dialog here is asking for is for the first uh, data display um, pane how do I want or what graph type do I want to use for my first data data display pane so I'm gonna go ahead and choose graph to start and we're gonna create a data point based on uh, my nest thermostats uh, sensor data for the the temperature inside the house and the humidity inside the house so we do that by going into edit and then we're gonna select from our data source which in my case is uh, the influx database we installed before. The measurement is going to be temperature. And if we have a look at the actual temperature um, series, then we can see uh, the relevant fields that we need to extract from. So I'm going to open influx. I'm going to use automation. Or first, I'll show you. Show databases. And here's the, the databases I have installed, or the databases I have in use here. Um, the ones that we've been uploading information from Node-RED is going to be in the automation database. And we're going to use automation. Okay, and then we're going to do a show series. And here's some of the series that we're putting in from, uh, from Node-RED. So I'm going to do a select star from temperature. And we can see some of the columns that uh, are in use on the temperature series. There's probably a lot of data points here. Here we go. Okay. So there's a lot of data here. Um, I'm obviously not going to be able to see the column headers there way up in the scroll back. So I'll just let you know. The column headers uh, for this area is time. And, and like I described earlier, this is in Unix epoch time. Uh, the column header on this one is locale, and the column header on this one is temperature. So, if um, if you go back to the the last video I posted on uh, a part one of creating the dashboard, you'll see how we inserted uh, these values into um, this database and and automatically creating the the column headers and everything for that. So, what I'm going to do then is I will use the locale hallway. And I'll use the temperature field for the, the actual data and we'll create a chart in Grafana. So where locale is 
is hallway. I believe that's it's capital H. Okay. We're going to be selecting the temperature field and we're going to be selecting the We'll do main, I guess. We'll do fill none. There we go. So this is the last six hours of my house. It might be a little more interesting to go over the last 24 hours. And we can see how the temperature changed inside my house over the last 24 hours. Let's even go further. We can go this week. This week so far. Yeah, so here we, here we can see the temperature variations uh, recorded in my house by the Nest thermostat. Uh, we'll keep it formatted as time series and we will call we'll alias this as hallway nest. Okay. So we've created this graph. Uh, it's not super interesting because you know it's just uh, just showing me the uh, temperature inside the house. We're gonna do we're gonna add a couple more uh, different data points here, and we're gonna kind of show how the temperature varies uh, from room to room in the house. So this one's being taken from the hallway. Uh, I'm gonna add in some of these other data points that I collect. We'll add in uh, let's add in garage and nursery. So in order to duplicate this, we just go to this menu. We duplicate it. And we'll basically just be changing this to garage and we'll call this garage temp and there we can see now we've got a, an accurate comparison of kind of the garage or outdoor temperature compared to the indoor temperature which kind of gives some context into uh, <clears throat> how the HVAC system is working and keeping the temperature regulated at uh, you know inside the house at, a, at around 23 24 We'll duplicate this again, and let's check out the nursery. We'll add that data point. Call this nursery temp. And let's call this hallway nest temp. Okay, and we can see here again, we've got uh, some more data coming from another one of my temperature sensors in my daughter's nursery, and we can see how this temperature kind of uh, varies being on an upper floor it's a little colder because I guess it's closer to the uninsulated or not very well insulated attic uh, but we can see kind of the relationship between the hallway nest thermostat on the main floor where there's you know more heating ducts and everything and the, the and the nursery temperature and we can also see that compared to the outdoor temperature and how the outdoor temperature influences uh, both of these so that was pretty easy um, making dashboards in this in, in Grafana is really really quick and it gives you a lot of kind of options for styling it how you'd like to see it and um, you know kind of doing your own thing whatever whatever kind of dashboard works for you so I'm gonna run through a couple more examples since this one was so quick but I will just give this a quick uh, we'll call this I'll call this house temperature zones and there we go and see if we can name this new name this dashboard as well hmm. okay let's go back oh I think actually you know what if I save the dashboard there we go so this will be called I'll just call this example dashboard for now and we'll save that there we are so that's how you name the dashboard and create a, a simple graph pane um, if we look at my Briar Hill dashboard I've got a couple others uh, yeah, I'll save this save um, this is kind of an interesting graph to add to um, <clears throat> below a temperature below a, an indoor air temperature graph like this you can see that the uh, how the HVAC has been operating um, and you'll be able to see on here Know how long it's been on for how many cycles it does in a given amount of time so let's uh, let's actually add that below as well and I'll show you how we do that 
go back to example dashboard and we'll add a graph oh i just went to new dashboard didn't i let's go back to example dashboard discard that we'll add a new graph here and it's going to be a graph let's edit it Okay, so in here, I think I was pulling from the HVAC states. Let's have a quick look at the series I have in this, in this database again. Okay, so obviously we've got one column here for heating, one column for cooling, and one column for if, if it's on or off. So let's have a quick, we'll use uh, the HVAC state table and we'll create, uh, we'll simulate one of these here. So go back to example dashboard, we'll create a new panel, it'll be a graph, and we will say panel, panel title and click edit. And we're going to be taking it from the automation influx data source, we're going to be using the HVAC state measurement, where believe the two columns are heating and cooling. Oh, actually, you know what? That's not necessary. We're actually going to be using locale. Locale is hallway nest. I believe that's how it's said. Yeah, hallway nest. And we're going to say the field field we're going to use for this specific uh, one is going to be heating and we're going to be using the we're not going to average it we're going to use a uh, selector. top answer in that section there we go and I think Okay, we'll go into display and we'll set this to lines, staircase, and we'll set the fill a little more opaque and the color a little more appropriate to make it uh, you know, red for heating. And by the same token, we can go back and duplicate this metric and set it for cooling. So we're gonna say heating on that, cooling, on this one field cooling set this red again set this one blue and we will again go to display make sure everything looks good here which it does and let's go back so now we've got this new panel which we can throw below there and kind of get, use that to get reference points on when we're heating and cooling. And just to make it look a little bit nicer, we'll go back in here and we'll get rid of some of these uh, axis titles. So we're gonna not, oh, we'll, we'll show that, yeah, sure. But we're not gonna show axes. There we go. Because this is gonna be self-explanatory enough and we'll be, if we put it right beneath the other graph will be able to use the other graphs, uh, you know, that time display. I've set the panel title and title. So we'll call this HVAC operation. And let's. Okay, so there's one more type of uh, dashboard panel that I want to look at, and that is the single stat panel. And that is exactly what it sounds like it brings out. In, uh, in a little pane, uh, a single data point from your influx database. So let's edit this. Let's quickly just go grab a, a temperature since we're dealing with HVAC stuff here. We'll grab uh, another temperature, let's say um, the garage temperature. And we're going to go to temperature where locale equals garage. The field we're looking at is temperature. And we're going to be looking at, let's remove that all together. I'll set this to current and then we're going to go back and we're going to look at the 
last we're going to use a selector and use the uh, last point there we go time interval fill null and what we can do here is we can assign this a value mapped um, or sorry a threshold here so I want to know specifically I said I want to know when it's below freezing so if it is below we'll say minus one and then there's uh, the mid-range which is kind of like moderate temperate and we'll say that's between uh, you know zero or sorry between minus one and 20 and then when it's hot and that's actually you know what that's not even that hot we'll say 24 and then when it's hotter than 24 we want to have a different uh, different color shown so below uh, below one we'll have a little ice color when it's a uh, happy temperature, we'll call that green. And then when it's hot, we'll call it, we'll make that red. And then we're gonna coloring, color the value. Actually, what works better? Yeah, I think, the, I think coloring the actual value here works better. We're gonna increase the font size. Yeah. We don't have a, po our post fix is gonna be degrees Celsius. You can style this however, this however you want, and this kind of shows, you know, the uh, a little bit of the history and a quick at a glance view of how uh, what the current value is of, of your metric of choice. So if we go back here, usually these these are a little smaller. I can throw that down there, and we'll call it, you know, outdoor temperature. back and save okay so this was just a couple examples of how we can use uh, some of the built-in charting options in Grafana there's more charting options or there's a lot more you know different things you can do depending on the data points you collect but I think this was probably a good kickstart to get you guys kind of poking around in Grafana making sample dashboards and eventually coming up with uh, you know something that really works for monitoring your smart home um, I'm going to leave it at this for now. Uh, again, sorry for, uh, you know, the delay between videos, and I'm going to try to keep on top of, you know, making more content and things like that. But uh, thanks for sticking by, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.